Welcome back everyone to a cast of players, the Chronicles of Valtor, and soon to be the Chronicles of everyone being eaten by a dragon. Um, <laughs> thank you. You have entered the strange cave where your erstwhile employer, shall we say, Denton Mal, has hmm. claimed that there is a dragon here, alongside some peculiar traps and talking statues warning you away uh, asking, ah, you're here for his treasures. And to this end, you have delved slightly deeper into the cavern, although not too far before the dragon has made his appearance. Snowling and... Snowling? Snarling and growling. Yes, that's a new word for you so all at home. Snowling. To the tome. Breathing fire round the corner. Although it is a fire that does not appear to be giving off much in the way of that burning smell that fire tends to do, that little crackle of embers in the back of your nostrils. And as you have turned the corner, you can see this great red beast thrashing in its cave as fire begins to lick around its snout and it begins to rear backwards. Could you all make an intelligence mm. Ooh, saving that's quick. throw, please? <coughs> Give us a chance! Oh, hello. Um, if I have plus five in a saving oh. throw... Is it, is, is, are you proficient in intelligence? I am proficient in then intelligence. Then you'll get your bonuses, all your bonuses to it, yeah. Oh, 24. nice! Oh. Wow! 18. Straight 18, 24. 20. 20. 15. 15. Dorian. Yeah. You see this dragon, and because at the end of the last episode, you basically just went, nope, and pulled up against the wall. That's right. You three watch him do this and go, it's not real. It sounds, the roar, now that you're here looking at it, it sounds hollow, as if it's not, it's almost like, do you remember when you, you were a kid or you see it in cartoons like the tin can telephones? Yeah. Mm, like that. The fire is not hot. <coughs> there isn't a <coughs> smell of burning or, or sulfur. And this dragon is thrashing around. You can see the tail slam through the wall before swinging out. You know that scene from Frozen where they had to do the entirety <laughs> of Elsa's hair on a brand new computer and it still can do it. Yep. It has to go through her shoulder. It's like that, but with a dragon's tail going through a wall. The tail is just passing through the wall and the fire is not real. And you three are just like, yeah, that's, that's not, it's not, it's not real. Can I shoot it? Make an attack roll. <clears throat> so do I, so in this moment, because I was the first round the Yeah, you were. With a cake, I then went, <laughs> <laughs> Back up against the wall, you peeked round. Three stooges sticking their heads And then the you <laughs> two just like, go around me to look. Yeah, and because I. So I now see you raise your gun. Well, this is, yeah, my little cider, because I can't smell the meatiness that I assume <clears throat> would exude from a dragon's mouth if it's consumed many, many people and yeah. hasn't brushed its we teeth. We just have some sort of dragon smell. Yeah, just some kind of horrible stench. So to confirm my suspicions, I want to see what happens when I shoot. The dragon. Okay. Okay. I have rolled a 17. Firebolt passes through the... Where's Denton at this point? Uh, he's hiding with Dorian. Yeah. He's, he's like this, he's like, but you're up against the wall and he's next to you just like... Like, li like listen. <laughs> Is the wall real? The wall? <clears throat> the wall we're hiding up against. Uh, or is yeah. it just the dragon that's an illusion? The, the dragon is an illusion. I would, I, I would, after having shot through the dragon, I believe it's an illusion, everybody. I think it's safe to go into this bit of the cave. Dorian <coughs> steps round the corner and looks. I'm still walking quite tentatively, though. Yeah. <laughs> Would you make a perception check for me, please? Uh, don't know what that noise was, but it happened. Um, I'm uh, 15. As the shot fired through, and it almost passes through, yeah, as, 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 as travel tends to do, you can see that there's another bust just beyond Ooh. and a slight shimmer coming from this, this statue as it <laughs> forms up back into the dragon shape. Interesting. Denton looks around the corner. You mean it weren't real? Yes, I believe this is some sort of illusory magic, likely caused by those incredibly not annoying at all statues. But you were right, it is in fact it's pretty convincing. I'm An illusion of a dragon. I mean, I where is your dragon, Denton? <clears throat> I mean, I feel a little bit embarrassed if I do say so myself. I apologise for bringing you all here, everyone. Um, hey, it's no mind, my good sir. Would you say you're now reassured that there is no beast in this cave? Well, I mean, certainly no dragon. That's for. Well, I mean, unless the, it's a trick from the dragon. The dragon's trying to pull a double bluff on you, and he's hiding a little bit deeper further down the cave. <laughs> you think you're. <laughs> you think I, a dragon would make an illusion of itself rather than just come out and eat you? 
you might be fat and lazy. Think about it this way. If you didn't have to answer the door to anyone, would you do it? Yes. <laughs> Ruining my point. <laughs> <laughs> he he look looks more him. disheartened yeah. by that than the fact that the dragon isn't real. Yeah. Uh, I've met many swindlers and gamblers in my time, none of which, to my knowledge, have been dragons. Something which is quite interesting, this must be here for a reason. <coughs> so although it's not an actual dragon, it must be here for some purpose. An astute point, my good man. I have them occasionally. <laughs> the bust was talking about treasure. <laughs> Dor <laughs> Dorian laughs when you laugh, but he's not laughing with you. <laughs> <laughs> I say we proceed past <clears throat> this charade and see what we might find. Let's keep our wits about us. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean. <sighs> he looks behind him at the cave mouth and deeper in. <sighs> this is a young person's game. This is, um, you know, I, I I appreciate you lot coming here and and and, and absolving me of of my concerns, but I think I might. He looks back down and you can see these, they're almost like snakes at the end of like the water, these hands just like this. <laughs> Every so often, like one of them just. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I mean, I'm a little bit nervous about coming with you lot, but I also don't want to go back there. So he, he, he walks around the corner out of line of sight of these hands, looking in the direction where the dragon is. He goes, he's not real, he's not real, he's not real, he's not real. He sits down. I think I might just park up here for a little bit if that's all right with you four. Perfectly wise. Maybe not best down there for me. I think that's a good idea, Denton. I'll leave it to the professional, shall I? Yes, indeed. All right. And he sits down, looks at the four of you, a bit sheepish, and then <laughs> I'll just stay here and be quiet. <laughs> no, he looks at him, turns to you, looks back at him, and then starts walking towards the dragon. <laughs> so you, on approaching the dragon, as you get closer, you see that the dragon isn't necessarily, it's not responding to your approach, it's generally roaring in the direction of the cave mouth where you've entered. Mm -hmm. And he's moving around and snarling and <laughs> gouts of fire shoot overhead, you know, like, and you effectively walk through it. It's still there, but you're just sort of surrounded by this mystical illusion energy. It's very pleasant, perturbing, but pleasant. <laughs> and as you approach, just beyond, as mentioned to Gregor, there is another bust, the same man, nestled just before the cave mouth leads further on. Oh, smart ones! Well, let's hope for your sake that your feet are as quick as your wits. You wouldn't want to get caught flat-footed. Seems suspect. He stops. What, what can we see? Where we are? You see that the cave path winds downwards into darkness. Can I see further with my night vision It goggles? winds downwards and turns around a corner Ooh. into darkness. Ooh. Well, the last bus told us not to look too close, which is exactly what we needed to do. So I'm going to guess we have to do the opposite again. This? Sense. Slow? Slow, steady. Do we have your feline friend that might be able to guide the way? She's not here right now. <coughs> okay. Another mystery. <laughs> Marvellous. <laughs> 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 the riddles aren't enough, it seems. <laughs> Let's go on together into the nonsense. <laughs> for us. The cave path, as said, winds downwards into the darkness. Only about a minute or two. And then it opens up to a chasm. Oh. A singular rope bridge <laughs> runs across it. Mm. It's maybe 40 feet across. How steep. Like the one here? Like the one <laughs> here. <laughs> Shall we? <laughs> Please, place down your, uh, your, your, uh, your characters. Help me. Um, can you repeat the message again? The message? Oh, a smart one. Well, from the beginning, one more time. Oh, a smart one. <laughs> you put your finger up to the statue and it just keeps talking. And then you, you notice that the um, statue repeats after about a minute, but it's always the same. 
I won't be able to do the exact same message and intonation because I'm ad-libbing everyone, but in, using your imaginations, <laughs> it is the exact same intonation and um, cadence every single time. I just like the first noise. <laughs> oh, a smart one! <laughs> well, let's hope for your sake your feet are as quick as your wits. Wouldn't want to get caught flat-footed. Well, how sturdy does the bridge look? How wide is the bridge? Uh, single. F well, you mean you might be able to go across side by side, but it will be <clears> a bit of a, a, a squeeze. Okay. It will be much more comfortable to go single file. We must employ the buddy system. Yeah. Oh, that's the obvious question. Is the damn thing real? Can I poke it with my stick? Is that fine? Yep. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Very good. I pull out my rapier and try and tap the actual first part of the bridge, as in the actual floor of the bridge. Ding. It's real. It's real. Does it it's seem some to sort be of DM trick? a magical no. bridge? Is Why it is real or not? Magic? Uh, are you going to use your magic sensibility? Yes. Okay. Um, you can sense not from the bridge, but along the sides, the aura of <clears throat> evocation magic. Do I know what evocation magic <laughs> is? Uh, stuff go boom. Stuff go boom. boom. Evocation is uh, effectively magic that will add to the world via destructiveness. Right. Can I send my mage hand across it to see what happens? Sure. Go for uh. it. <laughs> I don't like this decision! <laughs> I don't like this decision! I take it back! Committed. <laughs> I take it back! Do you want to? Is this something that you would do in character? Regardless of my inability to have a good poker face. <laughs> I would maybe put it to the group as a suggestion of something I could do, because well, I don't like making we, decisions we, by myself. The the bridge the bridge is in fact a bridge. There is magic either side. Uh, I sense dangerous magic on either side of the bridge. Perhaps it would be worth trying something first rather than us going by ourselves. Could we throw a rock in the chasm? <laughs> You can hear it rattle. Quite deep. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is uh, the, with the chasm, mm -hmm. um, are there walls along the sides? Th there are walls along the sides. Um, could they again. be traversed in theory? They could. But um, does it look very dangerous? I again. sense dangerous magic. <laughs> <laughs> from... I was all about the walls on the. S Listen. <laughs> so uh, again, a little bit of imagination, imagination here, guys. This is obviously quite representative. The the the, the shelving there isn't there. It is a straight okay. sheer wall. Yeah. It's quite craggly. You'd have to clamber. You'd have to clamber. You'd have to boulder. <clears throat> but you would be bouldering without. I'm a mat good at bouldering. You. Acacia is not good at bouldering. Weirdly, Acacia is. She has a climbing speed as a thief. Ah, that's a very good point. <laughs> <laughs> so Acacia could actually make it across with no. Um, issues in that regard, provided that there, nothing untoward happened from crawling across the cavern walls. I don't trust you. <laughs> this is probably the correct oh, decision. Oh, it's like the well, door all over again. <laughs> do you think? What do, sh shall I send? Okay. So you're going to send the send mage, my mage hand? hand across. How are you sending your mage hand? I assume it skitters along the floor. It, does, it can float if you want it to, or you can make it look like it skitters. I would like to make it look like it skitters. <laughs> okay. Very slowly across the floor. Sure. Does it actually like cause any weight to the bridge when it does it? I believe it's weightless. Oh. Mm. Could you pick up a rock effect. and send it across? Yes, I'll do that. Yeah, That's if you smart. have it carry a rock, that would be yeah. good. Do that. good thinking. Like drop it along the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah like that. breadcrumbs. Sure. I mean, pick up a rock and drop it along the way. See if anything goes awry. <sighs> okay. Acacia, could you make a dexterity saving throw for your magical hand, please? Seven. Seven. Cool. You, as you've activated this sense, and it's beginning to fade away, and then you almost get like a sharp mm. migraine. You see along the walls four red glows coming from between the crevices, mm. and a small moat of red light begins to move out towards the bridge from four corners. Oh, no. I think we should run across the bridge. Yes, agreed. <laughs> okay, who's going to go across the bridge first? Me. <laughs> You're going to run? Well, it seems to be going very slowly towards the bridge that seems quite combustible. You're running? Wait, where is but where is this? What do you mean? These, so where like are these coming of, are from? Are they like trying to heat up the ropes? Are they coming from either side so of the bridge? Effectively, yeah, so from along the sides and along the sides, they're, they're 
for, like, looking at the trajectory, they appear to be going towards the center of the bridge, as if converging. And where is the mage hand at this point? About in the middle. So it looks like it's more going towards the mage hand. Ah. Yes. You want to keep sending the mage hand over? I would like to keep sending the mage hand over. The lights continue to converge towards the middle of the bridge. Oh, I towards the de- middle. I will need a decision from the party at some point quickly. Go, go, go! go. Like, That's what I thought it said. Here so, we running. go! Running across the bridge, who's going first? Me! Okay, <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, and are you explicitly dashing? I'm walking at a pace. You're walking at a pace. <laughs> make a dexterity save. 19! Okay. You, as you're going across... 20! <laughs> you're, you're making your way, and it's... The bridge is, is, is sturdy. Mm. Like, you know, it doesn't feel like it's going to suddenly collapse underneath. However, as you're going, you're going at pace. The orbs are speeding up. Slow down! <laughs> I'm going to start slowing down. You start slowing down? Yeah. Cool. You free. Are you going onto the bridge I'll at this point? I'll follow along the bridge, but De- slowly. Deck save, please. I will follow last. Okay, so I'll um, go next. 19. Then. 19. Deck save. Not great, but I will use my lucky. A lucky, sure. Yeah, in this instance. Uh, one point better. <laughs> sure. A deck save. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> oh, oh, I don't know what these noises are. 16. 16, 19, 19. Oh, I do get a proficiency bonus. Actually, it's not that bad. I'm on 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. 10. Yeah. As you're going across, it, it's sturdy, but the more bodies that are on there, the more it is bouncing and f- beginning to move up and down the orbs you notice that three of them because you're going slowly you're going yeah. you went quickly you two are going slowly i was slowly, going slowly. slowly yeah one of the orbs is pulling ahead of the others mm. the other three are beginning to slow down as you step on slowly i've slowed i've slowed down, <clears throat> slowed right down. you notice that the one that was going faster has slowed down mm. are any of you stopping completely still at this point I'm probably quite tentatively at the end. Oh. I imagine there's not much room on the bridge I want right to, now. I want to try just like taking a step at a time. Yeah, kind quite, of like slow. going quickly like to stop, slowing down. Step, stop, yeah. step. Okay. Could you put yourselves in order on the bridge, please? Roughly where you feel like you would be. Where do you point. feel like you would be, Bid? In the middle. Middle? Get further than the middle. Like sure. about there? Yeah. Well, I've gone slowly, so I'll be about there. <laughs> There you don't feel <laughs> <laughs> Could you be about there? Why don't we put me a little bit further forward? I imagine I tentatively have a foot on, foot off. Because I, 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 it's I, been a pleasure knowing you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you, so are you? Are we stopping? Are we? So, so e, your leading point at the moment. I've Gideon? stopped. You've stopped. Okay. Curiously, the orb <laughs> is continuing to move towards you. I will keep walking slowly. You notice that it's matching pace with you at this point. Mm. The other three are beginning to converge in as well. At this point, because again, I don't have magical ability, so I can't put floating orbs in. You have to imagine that the orbs are roughly 15 feet away from you. You are about 15 feet away from the end of the bridge. Right. Make of that what you will. Are you going to move towards the end of the bridge? Well, I have no other way. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, 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 you go to take a s- step and I shout, stop, stop. I stop. Because I'm thinking if you go off the edge of that bridge first, we'll all blow up and die. Oh, yeah. We kind of all have to move at the same time. Well, why don't you, why don't, why don't you walk past me? But are these <laughs> orbs all equidistant? They're all us? at slightly <clears throat> staggered distances. Mine's further away, right? Well, one that you presume is associated to yours is further away. Yeah, mine's further away. So I'm going to slip past Acacia. Okay. Because you said that we could potentially go to... You can go, like, to abreast at this, yeah. uh, on, on the bridge. It's just, it's a bit of a... You, but the, the bridge is sturdy enough okay. for you to do so. It's not, yeah, it's not doing this. So after I shout stop, um, I say, let me try would... something. And I, I, I go past you and slow steps, but towards... Gideon, what happens? So you're now level with, with Gideon? Yes. Or just behind. For all intents and purposes. Oh, oh. Sorry, oh. oh. <laughs> oh one of the orbs explodes! Uh, one, of the, one of the orbs, <clears throat> as you've slipped past, it begins to move faster towards the center, and the other three begin to jitter and move, and they all start descending in. It didn't like that. No. Um, I shout to... Um, Gregor, 
Get on the bridge now! Okay! <laughs> I will get on the bridge. Oh, I don't like this don't bridge. The right. I would like a decision from the party in five seconds as to what you're going to do. As one! Go, go, go! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where else are we going to go? All right, you run across the bridge. Could you all make another dexterity saving throw, please? Oh. <coughs> oh. As the orbs um, begin to merge I'm going to use a luck above. re-roll. Whoa. I'm going to use a luck re-roll. Can I use an inspiration? Ah, 20, inspiration baby! Re-roll. So that's your inspiration gone. You've used... I've used my inspiration and a luck. And a lucky, you've used... I've used <laughs> my one inspiration and You've used one inspiration and a luck. two left. I'm cool. on 11, by the way. 11? Yep. 14. 20. 8. Okay. Ah. Goodbye. <laughs> ah. As, as you're ah. running across the bridge at this point, the orbs... <laughs> I'm afraid the blast of fire roils out <laughs> across the bridge. Can it be an illusion again? No, it cannot. <laughs> That's only that. <laughs> you passed, so you make, you take half this damage. Oh no. That's half. But you still take damage. How it's... many? 16. Oh! 16? All of you take 16 points of damage, you take eight. Okay. As the fire <laughs> and the bridge begins to snap and buckle and burn, but you do all make it, you effectively throw yourselves off the bridge onto the other side of the chasm. Wow! Square peg, round hole, seem to work. <laughs> Savage. I'm but glad Denton's not here. You do make it across. And effectively, across the other side- Four hit points left. <laughs> you do see another bust. This one in the middle of an archway that leads further down. Quite sharp to have gotten this far. Don't blame me if you get all mixed up in what's going on, though. Not my fault. <laughs> so is the bridge still there? The bridge is gone. No one fell off the bridge. Can no I... one fell off the bridge. Everyone's Can I knock burned. the bust over? Sorry? Can I knock the bust over? Yeah? Knock the bust over. Sure. Very upset. You, just, you, you, sh- you shove it, it over. Push it. Okay. I'm very hurt at this point. I'm very embarrassed. <laughs> shatters <coughs> into into a few small pieces. So you're badly wounded. I'm assume. pretty badly I'm, wounded. I'm not great. I'm really not great. In fact, I might have just taken the last of my energy pushing the bust over. <laughs> Beyond it, you see that the archway connects to a small grotto, maybe 20 feet across, lined with jagged rocks and thick vines. Uh, could you all make a nature check for me, please? Oh, a 20. <laughs> Critical. <laughs> Just when I needed one. Yeah, perfect uh, timing, guys. Nine. 15. You recognise this as veiled knives. Uh, each vine is lined with hundreds of small barbed <laughs> forms that slice into clothing and flesh alike. And many an adventurer has grabbed one of these vines for support or makeshift rope, only to have their hands shredded to ribbons. Do, do they look relatively flammable? They're vines. They could be on fire, but they are in a damp cave. Sorry, we, we can see a bunch of vines in a grotto. Yes, it's a small grotto, about 20 so feet So they're like, bar- like sort of a barrier to the grotto, <clears throat> presumably. No, they're, they're lining the sides of this grotto. Uh, at the other end is a, another archway. Bef- before I continue, because spluttering, singed skin, burning, um, I immediately place my, my own hand, which glows green, on my chest, and I heal wounds. Uh, so I get four, five, six. No, it plus two my... It is 2d8. It is 2d8 now. Oh, it's changed. Because we're using the playtest version. Um, plus so spellcasting modifier? It's still 2d8 plus... Uh, it, 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 blah, blah, blah. It's 2d8 plus your spellcasting, yeah. It's All just right. basically it's an extra d8 because they felt that healing wasn't great, yeah. so okay. they boosted it, which is okay. nice. uh, well then, happy for you to use it because otherwise you're all going to die. Well, that, that gives me 13 wounds back. Cool. Yeah. I then immediately place a hand on your shoulder. Uh, you get oh, 11, 12, 13, 14 wounds back. Ooh. And I place a hand on you. Well, thank you, sir. Because you seem to have gotten out of it. Yeah. Makes um, sense. You were at the front as well. You've been yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> of you course only, it's the James. You only get five wounds back. Because of the double one. <laughs> oh, only it's okay, James. I still have my go-go juice only should James. I need it. In this grotto, there is nothing okay. else of note other than jagged rocks and these horrible vines. Well, that stupid bust 
made a comment about getting mixed up. I wouldn't be surprised if those vines start attacking us the minute we walk through it. Yeah. I don't trust anything in this stupid cave. Can I shoot the vines with my gun? Go for it, make an attack roll. <laughs> I just want to see how they react to stuff. Um, a, a 22. Yeah, bits of vine go <laughs> fall off and slop down the side of the cave wall. They don't come back to life or do anything weird. Not that you notice. Uh. <laughs> Dor yeah, Dor um, Dorian was focused on just healing. He's not really looked at up there yet. When we're all together and he sees the vines, I look, I, there's disdain. <laughs> it's like repulsion at these things. Can I check? I spit on the floor. <laughs> Can I check to see if they are illusionary? Uh, I believe you can't because you've used that ability twice today and you can only use it equal to your proficiency. Oh, that's sad. Okay. I'm going to presume so. they are. Not a fan of horticulture, it seems. <laughs> no, I'm not. Um, and as I say that, the whip on my belt, again, <laughs> quivers. Oh. Are you going to explain what that is yet or is it still going to be a secret? <laughs> It's my secret, and I'll keep it if I want to, okay? I still don't trust these vines. I don't really want to go down a corridor and die. Are the, so the, is, is the archway covered in vines, or is that separate? No. It's, so you, it, it's, it's a small grotto, and the walls are lined with just sharp edges and these vines. Are they on the ceiling? Yeah, all round. <clears throat> Not on the floor. Can I suggest we maybe slash these as we go through? You could give it a go, but in my experience, these things will come thick and fast. D those of you that know Veiled Knives, it's not alive. It doesn't move, it doesn't <laughs> react, it doesn't okay. do anything, it just slices you up real good. I don't trust it. <laughs> I've been hurt. Mm -hmm. I understand. <laughs> well, why don't we just keep going? Yes, it seems. Avoid getting pricked. We, we can't go They're backwards. only on the <coughs> ceiling. Right? Ceiling and walls. Okay. Ceiling and walls. Ceiling and walls. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, there's, there's no. You're not needing to walk through them to get to the other side. Well, we certainly can't go back. Onward. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I am gonna inject myself with a go go juice while we're sure. here. Yep. Go for it. So two D eight plus four or plus Ooh. three for your intelligence. Uh, oh, a fourteen. Very nice. Together. Cool. Who's going in first? Not I me. refuse. <laughs> I'll, I'll, go for, I'll go first okay. again. As you step in, you walk through. There's no movement. There's no motion. There's nothing. You take another step. You hear <laughs> behind you. The statue, the bust, is almost glowing. The one that you pushed over. The one that she pushed over. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I think you broke it. <laughs> I, think you, I think she broke it. And I, 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 I shake you with a bit of joy. <laughs> Could you try and put it back together? How many pieces is it in? About three. Could you try and put it back together? No, no, leave it. We might be trying to tell us something again. Who what cares? It'll be the same thing over and over anyway. Do you want to maybe come out of the corridor before I do? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, Dorian starts walking more quickly. In, into the grotto? Or what do you mean into the grotto? Or back? I'm not walking into some sort of death trap. Is uh, there a trap in this grotto? I mean, there might be. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I've broken it. I think it's safe. I don't want to put it back together. Let's just yeah. let's go. Right. You there's, leave one, there's literally <laughs> only one way we can go. Yeah, we, Anything yeah, we can't go back over the bridge, <laughs> that's for sure. You walk through. You hear the tss, 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 tss. You look behind you, you almost see sparks flying off of the, the bust on the ground. Tss, 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 tss. But nothing else happens as you pass through the grotto. My active rage works! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving it behind you, you see that the cave path turns a corner only to be met with a large iron door. The walls no longer that of cave stone, but instead of granite, Ooh. the same as the busts that you've seen. And incidentally, above the door, he stares down at you embedded in the wall. Well, clearly you're made of stout stuff. I suppose we should see if you can outlast this one. I'm not holding my breath. Oh. Oh, no. Can I suggest <laughs> someone shoot the bust? <laughs> this seems to have a good track record. Yeah. 
<laughs> Would you like me to shoot the bust? No, that seemed to have worked before. <laughs> Make an attack roll. <laughs> Why not? Um, I believe that's 20. A 20? <laughs> Boom! Boom! Ooh! It looks down at you. I'm afraid that won't work this time, my friend. I think I would have also scuttled behind Acacia as well, because it was her idea. <laughs> <laughs> a nice try. I respect the tenacity, but it won't work twice. Oh, yeah, it's a man of culture. <laughs> this one's different. Yeah. Or maybe you've activated a different trigger. Uh, can we investigate the door? It's a large metal door. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should we not make this a big thing about the door again? Let's <laughs> 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 go so through the door. Yeah, can we just open the door? It opens with a loud scrape, grinding on stone. Inside is a large open room, a set of pillars in the middle, and at the opposite end stands another door. In the corners of the room, you see there are four statues built into the side. Mm. Horrible, demonic visages staring down towards the center pillars. I'm happy to go in first. Are you happy? Don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> there could be answers to secrets here. Could be. Yeah, Hello. I'll step in. Yeah. You enter. Mm. Does anything happen? Am I dead? No. <laughs> do oh. I, can I sense any magic? <clears throat> Uh, I can't do that. I've already done it twice done today. Done it twice today. You can't do it anymore. Everything seems fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow you in as yeah. soon as you go in. Mm -hmm. Is it dark? It's dark throughout the whole thing, so I presume you've got torches and whatnot at this point. Yeah, loads of them. Or night vision goggles. Yeah. Uh, or being an elf. I'm going to just gesture to Gregor. <laughs> Ladies first. Oh, no, no, after you. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do the statues look like? You don't recognise them, but they're just... They're just, just Winged beasts. Are they all different? No, they're all the same. All the same. All the same. Okay. Very tentatively standing in the door. In the what? door. This, the central pillar in the middle. Mm -hmm. Is that is that all the way to the ceiling? No, it's not. <clears throat> Interesting. Can I investigate it? You can. Ah, yeah. oh, to be fair, that is a fourteen. You see, round the base, there's almost a lining, like a groove, where it might slide out. Okay. Could we push it? if you want to. I'm going to stop being in the door <coughs> at this point, just in case it snaps shut on me. I don't trust anything anymore. I believe this pillar moves. Mm -hmm. In the right strength, we might be able to push it. Maybe it unlocks a door, but before we do that, maybe let's investigate the rest of the room. I walk around the pillars, as, an I, go, as I go around the pillars, I'll be wary of where I'm placing my feet, mm -hmm. just in case any mm -hmm. part of the floor looks a little different. Mm -hmm. And I spot this, is yep, it, yeah, it's a big old metal door. Big old metal door. Is it like the first door or very different? It's different, but... Is there a it, keyhole on it? <clears throat> just a handle. It's just a handle? Just a handle. Is it trapped? Might be. <laughs> Might not be. <laughs> you won't know unless you find out. Not very forthcoming. Correct! Can it's I, almost like that's my job. Can I investigate the statue? Go for it. Well, that's alarmingly consistent. A 14. 14? Yeah, it's a statue. Mouth, so, mouth agape. Hold it, standing upright like this, wings draped around it. it is the mouth, <coughs> is it a gape and it's like stone or is it like a hole? It's a hole. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, Water comes through. Okay, my not, my 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 not be. <sighs> now. Put your hand in it. Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not putting my hand in it. Um, can I see with my night vision goggles further into the hole? Okay. It goes down. Oh. Put your hand in it. <laughs> I'm not putting my hand in it. Um, Why don't you put your hand in it? I was, okay, so I, I, I suggest to the group that something comes out of the statues. Mm -hmm. I believe these might be either some sort of gas or liquid could come out of these. So we need to tread very carefully. No sudden movements, everyone. We don't want to... Recreation of the bridge. Is it one big pillar type thing in the middle? Is it one uh, piece? They're, 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 so it's one large pillar, but you can see that they are separated. Effectively, you can see that it's split into four. You can see that it's effectively four bits of rock pushed up against Ooh. each other. Is, could, could we investigate if there's any like scraping on the rocks and in which direct, uh, i.e. on the pillar, like if they're like the scrapings up and down or if it's like side to side? Um, you can't see anything. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
you, uh, you see this groove is at the <clears> base, <throat> and it, it, it moves round almost in a concentric circle. Nice. Um, but it doesn't look like there's been any movement or, or cool. scraping okay. or anything. How high are they? They're about 10 Boy. feet high. So you, uh, not, you can crack, like... Could I scale crack. it? Could you, yeah, yeah, you could. could you climb them? Yeah, yeah. Climb Dorian up. attempts to climb up. Yeah, yeah, you, you, you're, on, you're on top. Please put What, what are the top. tops of the pillars like? <laughs> King of the castle. Flat rock. So can, you, can I see a cross section? Uh, yeah, you can see it's a cross, it, is a, it is a cross section four separate of four pieces. separate pieces. Yeah. Okay, and what's the gap, like a, an inch? Not even that, they're quite flush. Okay. Can you move any of them up or down, i.e. try to depress them somehow? Flash yeah, them. They're quite solid. You sort of jump up and down. No, but I'm guessing that maybe you could climb up here if all the water comes in. Potentially. <clears throat> And how to hide the roof. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you are like this okay. at this point, because you're not like tall, tall. 6'2", yeah. same height as me. Okay, fine. So you... That's tall. So I am tall. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, are, you, are like, you are like this. You, you're, you're needed to squat atop it. Is there anything in the ceiling? Uh, like there's no patches, there's nope. nothing. No spike is holes. It a, is it a built ceiling or a cavern? It's a built ceiling. This is, this is now... A built box room. A built room. Okay. Yes. Well, my guess is we open this door down there and we're all in for a swim. Yes, that does seem... <laughs> I, I sort of say this talking to you all down. Um, so it's just cool. a mechanic-based question. Mm -hmm. um, with my being a very dexterous wall-climbing feed, mm -hmm. can I hold on to the ceiling? Um, you, as a thief, you can uh, crawl along... So again, playtest version of a thief. You can crawl along a ceiling, provided that you have handholds, and you don't end your move there. So you, you can basically go 30 feet across <coughs> a ceiling, provided that you've got handholds to do so. You monkey bar your way across or, or boulder upside down, but you can't end your move there because it's just... So I can't just hang there. No. If I need. But I could climb... Okay. Is there anything okay. that we could wedge the door we've just come through open with? Yes. In this room? No. Is what there a big... my walking stick? Sure. I need that to walk. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any big boulders we could... From our, the previous room? No. Can I go and get weird. the broken bust? <laughs> <laughs> from back there and use that to jam it in the if door? If you want to, go for it. It's Ooh, quite heavy. You can take, a, so I'm sure, a stake yeah. from the bridge or something. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can gather some stuff up and, and you bring it back to try and jam the door so shut, yeah? Flammable gas. <laughs> well, we want to jam the door so that it doesn't suddenly close sure. Yeah. I feel yeah. I'm suspicious of the door. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you're going to... Okay, could you... Working between the four of you, could one of you make a sleight of hand check with advantage from basically telling other people what to do? I or probably best five, suited. Yeah. Uh, with advantage. With advantage, so you can roll again and... Uh, 25. 25? Cool. Naturally straight to You managed to wedge the door open and you are quite confident that that door is staying open. Okay. Be between using bits of statue, bits of wood and just general placement of things, you're quite confident that that will stay wedged open. Well done. <clears throat> now with, with the ceiling, mm -hmm. in theory, can I see if it would be possible if I did need to? to be able to climb across the ceiling and through the currently closed door. Uh, from where, what, from one door to the other? From, no, from, from the pillars. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. you, you, you. It's good information yeah, the, to have. Uh, oh, no, sorry, but, um, <laughs> forgive me. Sorry, this is a completely like smooth room. You don't have any handholds. Oh. You have a climbing speed, so I can't, but you still okay. need to be able to so climb. So I can't stuff. climb the ceiling? No, not in this instance. Why did you tell me that, right? Because I'm very confused with the million and one puzzle rooms going on in my head right now. Understandable. Should we open That's the door? That's not an option. Yeah, should we open the door? Yeah, Dorian. He's opening it. She, well, actually, Dorian calls down. Do you want me to stay up here when you open the door, or should I come down? You stay up there. I'm happy to open the door. Can I okay. come up there with you? Why don't you all go I hold up? a hand down for, uh, to help you up. You. I'll help you with the door. Okay. All right, I'll move you both. Just in case the door opens, we can flee out. <laughs> You... how do you want to approach this? <laughs> <laughs> Opening the door? Yes! Oh, <laughs> Let's not make this a thing! Can we make a bet with the dungeon? <laughs> Why don't I just... <laughs> I want to put the bus back together and say, now listen here! Now listen here! <laughs> now, call me crazy. Yeah. I'm thinking I just use the handle to open the door. Uh-huh. Well, it, it, but in what check, way do you want to? Check, check if there's any traps or... Investigate. Right, tell me what, what's the handle look like? <laughs> Just a solid metal handle. Right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna carefully enough <laughs> turn the handle and <laughs> open the door. <laughs> As you so just going nice and carefully. Cool. Sure. As you touch it, the door behind you <laughs> begins to grind itself shut. 
what you have done to jam it has done a bit of work, but it is losing against this door as the mouths a sickly yellow gas. It's not water! <laughs> oh. From the statues. The door behind you is closing. The door in front of you is not moving. Shucks. Now, is and there's the, no keyhole in it. No keyhole. Is the, is the gas filling the bottom of the room? It's yeah. going it's to sinking. the bottom, and but you can see it's, it's very thick okay. and beginning to build. I think we should climb. I think we should climb too. Yeah. Okay. Up we pop. And now we live here. Now this might be a, a, a crazy suggestion. I'm now doubting it myself. Mm -hmm. Come on. If the gas is flammable, we might be able to get rid of it. <laughs> and us at the same time? Yeah. Wait, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's what I realised. Well, that's whilst what you're saying, thinking yeah. this, Dorian not. says, do you think if the other door actually close, closes, this one will open? Quite possibly. It's an interesting <clears throat> hypothesis. Well, at the moment, the door is, it's struggling to close. You can Crushing hear, this yeah, this statue is kind of bits of wood from the Is bridge this door moving at all? Is there any nope. sense of movement from nope. that? And the gas keeps um, Before boom. I shoot any of my guns at the gas, <laughs> have we got a torch or anything slightly less flammable than Bertha? We're all carrying torches, isn't we? Yeah. yeah. I've also got my night vision goggles uh, Yeah, you've got night vision, you've got night I've vision, you two it. would be carrying a torch, uh, I presume. I say, shoot the door, shoot the door! <laughs> Make an Are we sure? Roll. Yeah, it's blown <laughs> okay. open. Um, oh, a 23. <laughs> Do you all make a dexterity saving throw for me, please? Oh, I'm up, I'm up on that. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm, all of you are. I just want to see what happens. Uh, five, four. Mm -hmm. uh, 11. Four, 11. I'm going to use a luck reroll. <laughs> I'm on nine. Nine? For your reference. What was it, dexterity? Dexterity, please. <sighs> Seven. Seven, cool. Um, Gregor, could you roll your damage, please? <laughs> that doesn't. If you've good. made me shoot myself, I'm going to be very annoyed. <laughs> a three. A three. You rolled a four. You take three points of damage. Ah! It grazes across. Ah! Okay. Just get... me. Just you. Ow! <laughs> hey, whoever rolled the lowest. <laughs> okay, well that works spectacularly badly. Oh! <laughs> Try the fire engine! The, the gas is now, despite seeping out <clears throat> of the uh, door that you came through, which is closing more and more, you can see some of the gas very slowly beginning to seep underneath the other metal door, the one that you tried to open, but it is approaching your feet at this point, and mm. it is rising and rising. I take a deep, well, I, I say, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> I, I take a deep breath. <gasps> Climb all the way down. I'm going to try and leave via the door that we've wedged open. That's what I'm going to try and do. Okay, so you ju you're just abandoning yeah. ship. All right. Well, he just put a equivalent of a shotgun into the door, and oh, it did it nothing. Was, but also it was all my pistol. It wasn't Bertha. So we might not be able to get. But it did nothing. It, it was it was my pistol, not Bertha. Otherwise, we'd all be in a lot of trouble. You I'm couldn't sure. open the door, so it's obviously jammed, locked. A uh, gun didn't budge it. <laughs> So you're I'm not going to stand there and try and open the door. Okay. <laughs> so just for reference, you're jumping down, you're going to move around to where the door is, yeah. and you're going to try and slip through the gap. Yeah. I need a constitution saving throw, please. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's nice. Uh, 19. 19, okay. You take two points of poison damage. Okay. Uh, do you, would you be like noted, you would know it was not, not, not good, not a good sensation, the gas? Yeah. Yeah, because obviously it, this it, could be in another illusion. Your, your eyes begin to sting, and you, can, uh -huh. even though you're holding your breath, because you did specify that yes, you're holding did, your breath, yeah. um, <clears throat> even though you're holding your breath, you, you can feel your eyes watering and your throat and nostrils burning. And I don't cry out to tell you what it's like because, you know... Uh, Are you coughing? I don't want to uh, open my mouth to this any more than it is. So, yeah, I'm going to try and <coughs> just get out the door. Okay, um, you're going to try and get out through the door. I want you to make, because it is very... The, the gap is very thin now, so I'm going to need an acrobatics check. <laughs> Not bad. Uh, I do have... Uh, yeah, 15. You begin to slip through the door, and it begins to press down on you and you are now wedged oh. in the door. Uh, stuck in the door? Stuck in the door. That's a problem. Oh, oh no. It's a problem. Can I send my mage hand off to try and open the other door? Go for it. I'm going to do that. Could you make an athletics check for me, please? 
20. A 20. The door, mm, boom, but it did begin to open. You yeah, feel so like you'll need a bit more strength than I'm going to go and help the, the magic hand. <laughs> okay. Um, you're going to go help the magic hand. You're yes. taking two points of bludgeoning damage as this door begins to press down on your ribcage. Can I get out? Cage. I will need a constitution saving throw for the poison, and then I will need a strength saving throw for you to escape. Con for the poison is... a eight. An eight? Yes. Okay, you take six points of poison damage. Okay. Can I go and assist and try and hold help you, with the door? Yep. Con saving throw, please. Oh, and a con saving throw for going into the poison to open the door. Uh, ten. Ten. Uh, okay. Nine. Then I've got to make a saving throw to try and escape. Yep, but you can make this with advantage because he's helping you. Okay. Uh, you take five points of poison ah. damage. Uh, Nine. Nine. Uh, uh, you take three points of poison damage. Seven. Seven? Yeah. You don't want to use any luck or anything like that? I don't have any luck. Uh, I've used have, one luck and I've used one you inspiration. You do have bonus inspiration um, for From completing the quest. Completing the quest. I've used it. Just I used, now? I've used one human your... inspiration and one luck already. Yep, so you've got two luck and currently two inspiration. Oh. So you've got one more inspiration. Okay. So I can do that again, even though I've already just had an advantage? I, I counted the... Uh, 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 so you get super advantage, basically. Okay. So you can re-roll it, okay. but without advantage. Okay, got it. Uh, not running very well. Uh, uh, nine. Check, please. Nine. 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 Yep. Okay. You take five points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, can uh, I try and pull the door open as well? Oh, make an athletics check for me, please. Sixteen. A sixteen. <laughs> Doesn't move. Okay, I'm going to jump down and try and help, holding my breath. You make me athletics with advantage yeah, now. Sixteen. Constitution saving throw. You, <clears throat> you, uh, so this is to pull it open. One more strength saving throw, please. Uh, seven. Seven. <laughs> okay. Um, you take four points of poison damage. Athletics. 23. 23. <laughs> the door swings open. The gas <laughs> rushes out and you see at the base of the door there is a vent and all the gas <laughs> rushes into it. The door that's crushing you <laughs> swings back open. Is it like fire me around the corner? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 you, 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 you swing round and land against the side of the wall and the gas begins to flow downwards into this vent. As you've done this, the pillars in the centre moving around the grooves and at the base of it a panel uh. opens and another vent appears and the gas rushes down the center of the vent but you are out although worse for wear i'm basically dead <laughs> i have one hit point left can i go go <laughs> You can. Go for it. Like, Good man, this yeah, is like Dory just collapses. <laughs> yeah. I collapse to my knees. Like, oh, you stick me with your go go juice. And what do I get back? Uh, 2d8 plus 3 for his intelligence. You, you, uh, you will I roll, roll for that. Yeah, it's your spell, you roll it. Never mind, d8. Uh, well, that's not a good start. Oh, okay, that's okay. 10 plus um, my intelligence. 13. Which is, yes, very nice. Right. Right. Okay, um, so. I've got a couple of my magic flowers left as well. Can I? You can take those four, five temporary hit points, yes. Yes. Yeah. I'll give you all one <coughs> of the magic flowers. Thank you. Just get, 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 chew on it on the left hand side only. They're going, starting to go off a little bit. <laughs> I'm actually just going to get rid of the rest of them. Yeah. Look Can they give us temporary funny. hit points? Five yeah. temporary hit points, yeah. yeah. So you can lose five points of damage before your real hit points are affected. Yeah. Okay. But you may oh, no, not no. need them, depending. We'll see. So, the door lurches open in a small corridor beneath your feet. The holes and the vent. This air and horrible yellow toxic smoke flowing down. And at the end of this small corridor is another door. This one much larger, much more ostentatious. And before it stands no longer a bust, but a full-sized statue of the man, standing resplendent in a fine doublet with an elegant rapier on his belt, his arms folded, almost scowling as you approach. There's a small switch at the base of the statue. I'm not touching it. <laughs> It's very dangerous, but is it's it? quite exciting, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, I know. He's definitely curious. Uh, he's not saying anything, though, this statue. No. Mm. How close are we? He said there's a switch at the bottom. Yeah, uh -huh. like 10 feet away. So the and beyond him is a door, like a great big silver and gold double set of doors. And that's it. Statue, door. Yeah, just walls and ceiling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we check the door first? Yeah, make an investigation check. 
<laughs> Let's all do it. Seven. Ah, oh, natural investigation. <laughs> Investigated. Heck out of it. Oh, no. Definitely a door. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it's, it, it is a big sealed door. It's, it's emblazoned with runes of magical energy, although oh. you're not sure what or what they do, but it's they feel powerful. Yeah, I mean, given what you've seen so far, you would surmise this is pretty potent. Yeah. Um, but there's no discernible way of opening this door. Right. No handles, just flat. No handles can, this time. It's flat and roony. Can I investigate the feet of the statue to see if it is attached to the plinth or not? It is attached to the plinth. Okay. Uh, do I recognise any of the runes? Uh, no. I mean, they're magical, okay. but you, you don't know enough magic. He's got this fine uh, filigree laid doublet on. He's got a rapier by his side. Uh, you also notice that he has a... Um, he's got his shirt open quite low. Um, and someone has taken the time to chisel in chest hairs. Ah. And around his neck is a quite a, an ornate pendant hanging around his neck. Is that made of stone or is that an actual pendant? No, this is all okay. made of stone. Cool. <laughs> 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 um, well... I, I volunteer to flip the switch <clears throat> if anyone wants me to. How big is the room? <laughs> the, the corridor that you're in? Oh, it's a corridor? Yeah, it's just a small corridor. It's about 10 feet long. Like, oh, you, you're obviously. quite... Like, I'm obviously. very suspicious of the statue, so I go into a crouching pose to increase my aim and point it directly at the statue's head. Are there <laughs> any holes, vents, <laughs> Just the spikes. ones that you've just seen where that cloud is going okay. into. Okay. There's nothing else untoward in this room. <laughs> <laughs> Not that you can see. I'm going to, okay, investigate the corridor. The corridor is ten <laughs> feet long. Maybe ten, it's 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 almost it's it's almost like a cube. Okay. And there is nothing else in here other than your good selves, a statue of this maniacal man, a door. I curse the door and a silly foot switch. Yeah. Yes. If you're happy Who to. Who thinks I should flip the switch? Flip the switch. If the statue moves, I'll shoot it. Yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> get, Come this far. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get one of my daggers out tentatively. Sure. In case I need to stab the statue. You, and I'm going to flip the switch. You press the switch. Okay, very good. The statue, because <clears throat> his arms are folded at this point. You press the statue. Fine. Is it oh. moving? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I know when I'm bested. My treasures are yours. Take them and you're free to go. No harm, no foul. <laughs> I don't trust him. As the message finishes, you hear, and he, the statue stops at this point, like gesturing towards you. And as the message, as the message finishes, you hear a series of <laughs> Ooh. And the door opens, allowing your passage to the room beyond. What do we see? Just beyond the door, you see a large room. No other entrances or exits, but a number of stone plinths, each adorned with piles of gold, gemstones, golden statuettes, jewelry, items of potential power and wealth, all of which radiate. Well, that was easy. <laughs> I say, I do step into the room. Yeah. Shall I? Yeah. You, yeah. you, you step in. Nothing, nothing yeah. happens. I'm not going to touch anything. I mean, he said okay. you can take his treasures. I'm not going to trigger any traps. <laughs> I mean, you might. No, because I'm not going to touch anything. Oh, that's up to you. Is there a central dais slash altar slash place of power where particular trinkets attract my attention more than others. Would you like to make a investigation check for me, please? Yes. <laughs> At the moment, you're just like, ah, oh, that's a lot of gold. Okay. Can I that's... see the glow of gold through the door? I, I imagine a small, like, without, like, any uh, input from you, a small lens, sink. <laughs> I imagine I have somehow have ended up here. <laughs> um, can I investigate the room? Because you can. I would like to announce to the group, it is never this easy. Go You're going to it. steal something from an ancient tomb, it's never this easy. Go for it. Oh, a 24. Nice. Damn. There are many many items in here which catch your eyes. Yeah. Several thousand, yeah. some might say. Wow. One of them in particular mm -hmm. catches your eye. It's 
a mannequin draped in a doublet of exquisite craftsmanship. Uh, Dark green uh, leather inlaid with delicate golden uh, stitching. You recognise the patterns as the same as what is on the statue. Mannequin, you say? A mannequin. <laughs> Don't like mannequins. I believe that is the doublet of our statuesque friend out in the corridor. And attentively step into the room. Oh yeah, I'll go and yeah, I come and stand next to you to observe said mannequin. <clears throat> how how big? It, what's the size comparison between the mannequin and the statue? It's about the same size. Oh, so big. Well, oh no, sorry. I mean, in terms of like human size. Oh okay. Human, yeah, the statue was human size. Oh okay, not like a good so I, I mentioned that that is mayor Culpa. <laughs> also, yeah, one thing ah! when we investigated the statue, uh, can I get a sense of time period that this? Um, the clothing might be from. not not recent, but okay. certainly you know. Did it seem a bit dated. The fashion. You can't place it, but certainly, you know, in the last few decades. Okay. Does is it armed? Like, does it have a, a rapier, much like the statue? On the its mannequin person? does not. Interesting. Is there? A, is it near the weapon rack that is also in the room? You do notice that there is a rapier on that weapon rack, <laughs> alongside a number of other items all of which radiate with power. There's hammers, there's shields, there's swords, there's axes. Is there any other difference between the mannequin and the statue other than the rapier? Would you like to make a perception check, please, on said mannequin? Uh, 15? Um, mannequin isn't wearing a pendant. Mm. I have a theory. Mm. Go on. Well, everything's been the opposite, and he said we could take his things. Yeah. What if the opposite is to give him the things that he should have? Oh, oh interesting. The rapier and the pendant. Can anyone see the same looking pendant as on the statue? Can I see it? I think uh, I found the rapier. a perception check, please. <coughs> 11. 11. 12. No, 11. <laughs> um, <laughs> you, don't, <coughs> you don't notice it anywhere, but you hear just a little in the back of your head Think of all the things that you could buy with us. So much gold that wants to be spent. Could you make a charisma saving throw, please? <coughs> that was stylish. <laughs> uh, charisma saving mm. throw. Mm, Eleven. You don't see the pendant. I'm sure if you started rooting around in some of these chests, you might be able to find it. It's not on show anywhere that you can see, so it's got to be at the bottom of one of these chests. Can I relate what I just heard <laughs> to the party? Could you make another charisma saving throw, please? 17. You do relay this, but that there is a pull, and you're, you, you, you effectively say to the others, I don't see a pendant. Maybe it's in one of these chests. And you begin to find yourselves drawn Towards one of the Don't touch anything, I say. Don't <laughs> 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 <I'm> stop me! <laughs> if your idea is right, I should be able to get this rapier and I go out over to the weapons rack. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to touch anything but l try and identify the one which looks exactly like the one. Yeah, there's one rapier. Okay. Right. Oh, okay, perfect. Can I tell them to hurry up? Uh, <laughs> I start, <laughs> can I you make start another charisma saving throw, please? 14. 14. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that gold, man, you could buy so many mushrooms with that gold. Can I start looking for the pendant, please? In a hurry. Right, make a uh, perception check, please. Before anyone gives anything to the mannequin, please can I prep Bertha to the back of its head? Should it move sure. at all, I'll um, cast it into oblivion. Perception, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, 22. Uh, yeah, you see the pendant hanging on a small rack of jewellery on one of the pillars in the far corner. And to take out a dagger. <laughs> I throw it at the pendant. I'm going to use it to pick up the pendant so I'm not touching it. Ooh, clever. Ooh. Okay, as you remove it, after Bertha is prepped at the back of the mannequin's uh, head. After you remove it, you hear a hingle down your spine. Oh, that's a nice pendant, but you probably want to keep that. Just take another little one. Sell it for yourself. Fund your wares. Fund your digs. It'd be nice to send it back to Dad, wouldn't it? Could you make a charisma saving throw, please? I think it's left-handed. <laughs> Oh, that's really not good. Oh, that pendant looks like that's it would a fetch three. a fine price. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> Use your inspiration bite. I've already used it, have I? I don't I know. think you I have. I don't yeah. think okay. you have. I don't remember you saying it. 13? <laughs> oh, it 
no, it really belongs in a museum. Um, that pendant and that chest of drawers, they're looking mighty, mighty fine. You've prepped a, a gun pointing at the mannequin. You I've found the rapier. I've picked the rapier up. You've picked it up. And I start to go back towards oh, the mannequin. A fine <clears throat> blade, sir. Truly, you could slay any enemies of your friends, your family, your kin. Would have been useful a few years ago, but it's a bit late now, isn't it? Could you make a charisma saving throw, That just please? makes me angry. <laughs> Could you make a charisma saving throw, please? <laughs> yes, I can. Fifth, 14. 14? Nah, he's right, though. That rapier would be quite good. Maybe you should take another weapon as well. I, I continue walking with the rapier. No, you don't. You yes. are pulled back towards the rack. Am I the only one that isn't <laughs> pilfering this room? <laughs> of the irony. <laughs> you reach down at one of the chests. Me? You, you did fail first. Ooh. Open it. Gold gleams and glitters up at you. And then... Begins to melt. Oh, God. The doors... <laughs> slam shut. Are you outside? <clears throat> no, I'm in there. I'm oh, the only one that's going to get the mannequin. <laughs> oh. The treasure begins to turn to liquid before no. you, no, no. dripping between your fingers, running down the sides. The rapier does not. The pendant does not. <clears throat> the doublet on the mannequin does not. A small ring on a pile on the plinth in the centre does not. But everything else begins to melt into... Is there into... to the mannequin? No. It begins to melt into the ground and run through the grooves of the floor and begin to seep towards the centre, crisscrossing. And you've, you've looked down and it's like, why am I covered in gold? And those thoughts, those intrusive thoughts, have now gone from your head. Foul hiss, burning smell fills the room, the liquid flowing into a bulging mass in the center of the room. <laughs> and it forms into a huge mass of muscle and rage. Great demonic fists wrapped around a jagged glaive. A terrible roar tears from its mouth, splitting its face open. It hefts its weapon and steps forward. I would ask you all to roll for initiative, but that is unfortunately the end of the session! Oh! Ah! Snap! You unfortunately oh. did fail a bunch of charisma saving throws there to resist the pull of the treasure. Somehow. Never said I was going to treasure. Gregor. <laughs> <laughs> the most avarice of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> what are you all doing? Amateurs. <laughs> did not, but you will have to fight the guardian of the safe, the guardian mm -hmm. of this treasure vault. The bank manager! The ba <laughs> <laughs> Truly the most terrible force that we must all face in our lives. Cashier number four. <laughs> so, until next time, thank you very much for joining us. Please return in the next episode and we will see how you deal with the true, true demonic force of what has been contained within this vault. <laughs> so until then, we'll catch you in the next chapter. <laughs> <laughs>